now this exam is from I don't know when uh, May somewhere what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show how you form the critical path or how you find the critical path from this activity network what we're going to do is we're going to go through from start to finish from 1 to 9 basically writing the earliest possible times you see I've set up these boxes the left hand side of the box is going to be the earliest time we can be at each event and the right hand side is going to be the latest time we have to be at each event I'll explain that as we go along so the earliest time we can be at 1 1 is ready to start A and B, the earliest time it can be there is at time 0. Now number 2, second one we labelled, A takes 10, so the earliest time we can be at 2 is 10. Next is 3, B takes 14, the earliest time we can be at 3 is 14. So far so good. Now into 4, the earliest time we can be at, s at 4 is represented by means basically what's the earliest time we could have finished everything feeding into 4 so what's the earliest time we could have finished both C and D we could have finished C at 21 hopefully that's clear and we could have finished D at 19 so the earliest time we're actually at 4 ready to move on is 21 not 19 we're not ready to move on at 19 we've got to finish both C and D 21 is the earliest time for 5 it's quite easy once we've got that it's 29 for 6. Now 6 depends on H and E being done. H can be done at 33, E at 29, so 33 is the earliest time we can be at 6. For 7, 7 depends on I, we can be at finishing I at, th at 45, and J at 43, so 45 is the earliest that we can be at 7 and ready to move on. 45 uh, did I say? 45, yeah. 8, uh, F takes 20, so 34, uh, and L takes 6, so 39, so 39 is the earliest that we can be finished everything leading into number 8, and number 9, which represents the end of the project, 51, 54, and 54, so I think 54 is the earliest that we can have finished the project in total. Now that's the early times. Now we're going to go through the same thing again, this time backwards, to find the latest possible times that we can, have, can be at each node in order to finish the project in 54. So if we want to finish at 54, the latest that we can finish is 54. Now moving backwards, if M takes 9, we must be at 7 by 40, 45, ready to, ready to do M to finish the project at 54, so we must be here. 45, I should have done 8 first rather than 7. So doing 8 now, if, if we've got to be finished at 54 and n takes 12, we've got to be at 8 by 42. Hopefully that's clear. If we're at 8 by 42, we can finish the project still at 54, because n only takes 12. Now number 6, a bit of a trickier one. We've got to be at 7 at 45. J takes 10, so we must leave 6 at 35 at the latest. 35. Keep that in mind. To finish the project at 54, we've got to, and K takes 21, we must start K at 33. To be here by 42 at the latest, takes 6, we must be here at 36 at the latest. So, for, for L must start at 36 at the latest. J must start at 35 at the latest, and K must start at 33 at the latest. This means at the latest we must be ready to be at 6 at 33, otherwise we can't get the project finished in time. K can't be delayed any further, it must start exactly at 33 to get the project finished at 54. Number 5 is much more easy, we've got to be at 7 by 45. I take 16, so we must be at 5 by 29, ready to start I to move on. Uh, 4 is next. Now, we've got to be at 6 and 33, so we must leave here at 21, and, and that's really enough. That's all we need to look at. Uh, we can't be there earlier than 21, so 21 is the time we have to be there to get to 6 by 33. It's also the time we have to leave to get to 5 by 29, because G takes 8. For 3, F takes 20, so we must have left 3 by 22 in order to, to be at F, uh, 8. 
by 42 at the latest. So 22 at the latest gets us to 8 at 42 at the latest. But we've got to be at 6 by 33, meaning we must leave e must leave 3 at 18 in order that e can finish by 33. So 18 is the latest so far. But we've got to be at 4 by 21. The only way we can be at 4 in 21 is if we start at 6, 16. So 16 looks like the latest possible time that we can be at 3. Any later and we delay either 4, 6 or 8. On to number 2, quite straightforward. Number 2 must be there by 10 because C takes 11 and we've got to be at 4 by 21. And because we've got to be here by 10 we must start the project at 0. If we want to finish in the fastest possible time, we've got to start at the latest at zero. So that's the latest and earliest start times. Now let's look at a few things from this. Firstly, going backwards, as we were doing that, we might have noticed a few things. And one of the first things to notice is that n, n doesn't have to start until 42, but could start as early as 39. So n is not critical. k must start at 33. It's a, it's a critical activity, it must start at 33 and it must finish at 54. If it doesn't, the whole project is delayed. M must start at 45 and must finish at 54, otherwise the whole project is delayed. Moving backwards, J is not a critical activity because although it, has, it, can, st it can start at 33, it doesn't have to finish till 45, so actually it can start at 35, even though we're ready to start at 33, it doesn't have to start until 35, so it's not critical. I is critical, though, you can check that yourselves. It has to start at 29, it has to finish at 45, otherwise everything's delayed. G has to start at 21 and finish at 39. C has to start at 10 and finish at 21. And A must start at 0 and finish at 10. Those are the uh, that, that's, that's a part of the critical path. There's another part here. H must start at 21 and finish at 33, and so is another part of the critical path there. E is not critical. In fact, you can tell the critical activities because they must join numbers where the same earliest start time and late latest start time are. Uh, latest uh, early time and late time. Anyway, J is not critical because J only takes 10. So the time we're here is 33, the time we've got to be here is 45. J doesn't have to start at 33, it's K, which really meant, gave us this 33 here. And so there's two critical paths there. Now that means that we must have at least two workers if we've got two things which are critical, because one person can do the yellow and one person can do the orange, critical, the orange part of the critical path. Um, there must be someone else to do the other activities and we find that out best from a Gantt chart and that's coming later.